In other global news, as Russia's invasion of Ukraine inches closer to completing two years, little seems to have changed on the ground, where Moscow continues its onslaught on Kiev, leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. However, a shocking report by UK's Ministry of Defence claims that Russia is on course to lose a total of 500,000 troops this year. The report claims that the average daily number of Russian casualties in Ukraine has risen by almost 300 during last year. And this comes as, as the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky met with the Japanese foreign minister Yoko Kamikawa in Kiev. Zelensky thanked Kamikawa for her country's support to Ukraine and also voicing hopes for further relations in 2024. Well, both the leaders also discussed intensifying cooperation with Japan in the recovery and re reconstruction of Ukraine. Japan has promised to provide $37 million to a NATO fund for anti-drone equipment for Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia launched 28 attack drones and three cruise missiles on the Ukrainian city of Dnipro. The Ukrainian Air Force claims to have shot down 21 of those drones. As a result of the attack, 12 people were left injured, while several buildings, including a school dormitory, were damaged. In the southern city of Kherson, two people have died and several others are left injured by Russian shelling. The head of Kherson city administration has said that Kherson was subjected to incessant attacks from the Russian-occupied parts of the Kherson region on Sunday. On the other hand, three people have been injured after Ukrainian armed forces shelled a hospital in the Leninsky district of Donetsk on Sunday. The intensity of the attack caused damage to nearby houses as well. Donetsk is one of four regions of Ukraine that Russia partly occupies and claims as its own since last year. However, the Ukrainian troops continue to hold positions on its outskirts. <laughs> Thank you.